Sunday fun day folks so I am out here in the garden today and I got a lot of work to do y'all it's been raining for the last couple of days my stuff has grown outrageously I got to do some potty and uh, some repotting and some trellis for this uh, outrageous uh, yellow spaghetti squash and watermelon and stuff like that and I got a few plants, um, some, um, um, what do you call them, compare, um, um, like some plants need, I got a loss for words right now, what I'm trying to say, but, uh, oh, companions, I know what I'm looking for. I got some companion plants to go with some of my vegetables and things like that to help it grow and things like that. So this is one of the pretty babies that I ended up getting. And um, so I got to plant this baby and get out of here puppy and stop eating my, um, he's eating my corn. I got, <laughs> I have some corn that I wanted to replant. I got some starters because seeds was too late to kind of start. So I was like, oh, let me go ahead and give corn another shot. Um, I grew some corn on the inside of my house from seed in January, but it got too leggy and I ended up having to get rid of it. So, um, I just got this from Home Depot the other day. I was, I saw it out there and I was like, oh, that looks pretty healthy. So I think I'll go ahead and try to give it another shot and plant it. You know, I didn't know a whole lot about growing corn. So, I, you know, it's my first time growing corn. I'll give it another shot. I heard that they plant them in rows and um, they do really well and a lot of sunlight and things like that. So I'm going to give it another shot. I'm actually going to do it in pots too. So um yeah i got a lot of work on my hands today i'm looking at this stuff right because um this is a lot of work for some people who look at it from the outside is but it's not a lot of work if you enjoy doing what you do it's not a lot of work um i would say in the very beginning when you first set it up it's a little bit of work you know getting the tables mixing the soil potting everything you know and then you know once you get it up on the tables and you start watering and stuff this stuff gets heavy you know so luckily i don't have to move it you know um you guys see it on bricks here let me show you what i'm talking about hold on one second so you guys see that i have them on like little um not bricks but wooden wooden things to stabilize them you know because um I have a slight hill in my backyard, so I have them sitting on like wood wood uh, pieces to kind of elevate it and to stabilize it so it doesn't move. And this baby is not going anywhere. But um, I am preparing my garden for, uh, that's my dog tail you see over there wagging. <laughs> I'm preparing my garden for uh, fall and winter. You know, it might sound a little early, but it's really not. You know, um, because I'm putting up a greenhouse out here. You know, so um, in order to move these big tables, instead of taking everything off the tables, I'm just going to lift them up and put them on these rollers. You know, so I'm just going to slide the rollers up under here. You know, so I can slide the entire table. You know, so when I put up my greenhouse, it's, it's going to be in the area where these two tables are. But I'm going to um, just slide the tables over to the far back where those trees are. Put up the greenhouse and then slide the tables on in the greenhouse. You know, so um, today I'm out here putting up the trellis. <laughs> y'all, and um, so look what else I got. I wanted to show y'all my little treats. I got, um, look. I, I found a guy on Facebook who custom makes these, you know, because a lot of the stores was closed. I went to Ikea and stuff like that. They open back up on Monday, Ikea do, but they have been closed. And a lot of this stuff is actually starting to be hard to find. With the quarantine and everything, everybody is kind of staying in the house. They're looking for creative things to do. You know, they're doing gardening and stuff like that. So when I go to... um home depot and lowe's y'all ain't leave nothing in there for me you know so um my best bet was to just find someone who, online who who either was selling 
some pots and pans and things like that, which was very far and few, you know, because everybody is starting a garden now. Or find someone who custom makes them, you know. So I found someone who custom makes these, and he made these great things for me. I cannot wait to put these in my greenhouse. You know, how cool is this? You know, so um, I got two, I, wait a minute, I got two planter stands with two tiers on them. And then I got three benches. I'm sitting on one of the benches right now, you know, and the other benches, you know, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with them. I don't know necessarily I'm going to use them all just for plantings or if I'm going to save one bench to kind of sit on and do my recordings with you all. But it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, um, I think everything came together pretty good. I mean, for the most part, right? You know, I have my stands now. I got my basil up here and my companion plants and stuff. Yeah, basil is doing good. I didn't get a chance to plant my kale, but, you know, peanuts. I can't wait to see those, bro. It's kind of fun growing those. Grapes, uh, blackberries, cabbage. Sweet potato vines, orange Swiss char, my collards, yeah, mint. Ooh, I got a mess out here going on, right? But it's all good stuff. My produce garden. I got a chance to plant my corn. I got more kale. I'm gonna get out here and get this stuff. It just all could be done in one day. Ooh, wee! And look at my strawberries. We're going to be eating some kind of good. <laughs> Y'all better get on board and get some of this. Start planting some fruits and vegetables and stuff. I'm so sick of this parsley right here. It's just growing outrageously and taking over everything. But yeah, this is looking good. I'm going to have to cut some stuff because, you know, these babies was anxious to wrap themselves around some stuff. You know, but now they have a home. Yeah. Here's my um, cantaloupe too. So that's worn out outrageously too. So yeah, I'm happy about this, and it doesn't look too bad either. I can imagine it's probably gonna look even nicer once it fills up. That vine fills up the uh, trellis. This is pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited about this. What y'all talking about? This is good stuff. So I did this video a little backwards. Um, I am putting, I'm showing you how I put up my trellis. But um, at first when I did it, it was kind of like trial and error. I stuck the trellis inside the containers where the soil was. But then it wasn't sturdy enough so I was like no, it's going to fall over. I think I'm just going to just take it out and just, you know what, I'll just set it in between the the heavy um, pots, the pans, the containers, and not stick it in any soil. And that worked so much better, you know? So I was trying to stick it in the soil and put the soil around the, the uh, thing, and it, you know, it just didn't work. So I just took it outside of the soil and stuck it just right in between the, uh, the uh, containers, and that worked so much better. I like it. I think it's kind of cute. It's kind of fly. You know? So, we'll see. <laughs> Look at Puppy. He's so funny. He, he, and he's so nosy. You know, he got to make sure he's supervising everything. <laughs> So most of your vegetables usually need a companion plant. So with my Japanese cucumbers, I am going to plant some um, annuals, an annuals, or I forgot how you say it. <laughs> I'm going to plant my uh, my plant with my plant. You get the picture. <laughs> 
I even forgot the name of these particular purple little plants, but I thought that they were beautiful when I saw them in the store. And I was like, oh, yeah, those will go great with my Japanese cucumbers, you know. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm planting the companion plants with my vegetables so that it can pollinate well and it can be more productive when it grows. And this, this actually, this pot is going to go over there in between the trellis. I have three trellis up. I need to get four. So this could be the last one. Yeah, just stick it in between there. And I'm going to cut off some of these, um, this yellow spaghetti squash um, uh, leaves so that the sun can get down in there and open up those flowers and then we can start fruiting although I already have a lot of fruitings going on but I just want to um, encourage more growth you know trust me you cut off a few of these leaves you ain't cutting off nothing it'll be back tomorrow bigger better and than ever trust me <laughs> yeah crab time gonna have me some crabs out here in my garden all my hard work See you guys. Thanks for tuning in.